Hey Siri. Are you a YouTuber? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm afraid I can't answer that. I take that as a no. Last year, in 2014, Apple released iOS 8, which is an update to the then previous release, iOS 7. Both have received some fairly good feedback from the press and have had a good adoption rate on iOS devices. So on June 8th, 2015, Apple revealed the next, quote, refined iOS release yet, iOS 9. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview and some of the new features in iOS 9. So let's get started, shall we? Now, if you're one of the people who watched my iOS 8 overview I did back in September 2014, you may remember that I said this. However, if you're expecting a new revamped interface, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait until iOS 9, I'm afraid. But let's happen. Well, once again, there isn't really much difference between iOS 7, 8, and 9. Despite that, there are a few new features that have been added, which keeps the platform right up with the likes of Android. One of those features is that in the whole system, there's a new font called San Francisco. You might recognise this font as being used in the Apple Watch, and it definitely makes the platform look a little more modern and elegant in some ways. The app switcher has also been redesigned, with a stacked card type interface, which is a nice touch compared to the previous versions of iOS. One very useful improvement included in iOS 9 is enhancements to battery life. For power users, Apple has added a low power mode option in the settings. But how does it work? Well, just like other platforms that have had very similar features, when that feature is turned on, it limits background activity, some notifications, and also turns off some visual effects found in the operating system itself in order to get a bit more battery out of your iPhone. Speaking of notifications, Apple has added some improvements to the notification center, which include the fact that notifications found in the notifications tab are now ordered chronologically instead of by app, which is a useful improvement. And if you have an Apple Watch or any other accessory, there is a new widget where you can see how much battery is left on both your phone and your Apple Watch. Siri has gotten a lot smarter in iOS 9 with new it? functionality, including context and location awareness. If you swipe all the way to the right on your iPhone home screen, it shows Siri suggestions, where your favorite contacts and frequent apps are shown. That can be quite useful in some cases. There's also a new UI, which looks like how it does on the Apple Watch, with a colorful waveform added. Also, remember the always listening phrase, hey Siri, first use an iOS 8? Well, in iOS 9, Apple has added better voice hey recognition Siri. technology, which means now you have to train Siri to learn your voice so that hey the Siri. command only toggles by your own voice. Hey Siri. Send a tweet. What would you like to say? I am tweeting this again from Siri. Exclamation mark. Here's your tweet. It says, I am tweeting this again from Siri. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I sent it. All that without even touching the device. The Photos app has gotten some nice improvements too which include the ability to swipe quickly through different photos at once, with the timeline slider found on the bottom as shown here. And also screenshots and selfies taken with the front-facing camera are now automatically organised into separate albums, so that you can find those easily. Yay! The Notes app has some new features which makes the app more interesting to use. You can now make checklists in the app, which is handy if you want to write down quick to-do lists for yourself and you can add photos thanks to the attachment button. What's very interesting is that you can now sketch on notes with different colors, pens, and tools. It reminds me of Samsung's stylus features on the Galaxy Note lineup, except it's a lot simpler here. Now, you may have been in the situation where you saw a link on, for example, Twitter, and once you open it, it throws you out of the app you are currently using. But now with iOS 9, Apple has provided a back button which allows you to easily go back to the last app that you were using before you clicked on that link. 
pretty handy. As it seems to be the case with almost every new iOS update, Apple has provided some neat wallpapers which actually look decent and colourful. I think they especially look good on devices such as the iPad Air 2 or iPhone 6S, although they remove some of the older wallpapers found in iOS 8, which could either be a good or bad thing. And finally, in previous iOS versions, updating to that version from a previous version could be difficult since the sizes of those updates were rather huge, but Apple has made the update file size smaller on iOS 9 from 4.58GB on iOS 8 to just 1.3GB. So yeah, that is my overview on some of the features found in iOS 9. There are lots of more features that I didn't mention in this video, since the duration will be a little too long, but hopefully this overview gave you a little idea of what iOS 9 is like in general. If you liked this iOS 9 overview video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to more videos from me in the future. You can also follow me on my social networks like Twitter and Instagram for more updates from me in the future. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed this iOS 9 overview video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Turning on iOS 8 for the first time, you'll notice that it looks very similar to iOS 7. There are a couple of changes in the UI though, which include a nicely redesigned control center bar compared to the old iOS 7 one. Just give me a second guys. Oh, go on. I just dropped my microphone. How annoying is that? But how does it, oops. Knocked the camera tripod again. Well, in iOS 9, Apple has added Veta Voice. Veta. Come on, Alex. Oh, look, it just crashed. Typical iOS. Yeah. One of those takes will work. Don't know which. But uh, we'll go with one of them. So yeah, you can see the setup and then whatever. Goodbye. Stop the camera recording.